Hey everyone, it's Dan here from the Powerlifting Basement and today we are going to do a meet recap. But before we do that, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to this channel, hit that bell icon to get those notifications, like and uh, share this video with somebody who you think would enjoy it. Hey, let me know in the comments below what you thought of my deadlift socks. Now, before I start detailing all of my lifts, I just want to thank everybody who helped me this weekend in some way, shape, or form. I'd like to thank everybody who came and supported me in the stands, my parents, my wife, my in-laws, my son, uh, my cousins, and my friends. I could all hear you guys uh, from the stands. It was very encouraging, really appreciate it. Secondly, I'd like to thank the Manitoba Powerlifting Association. They put on a fantastic meet. It was uh, one of the largest meets at the Brick House uh, gym. 56 lifters, two flights. The day went flawlessly. It was run very smoothly. You guys did an awesome job. Good job to all the referees, all the volunteers. Awesome, well done. And next I'd like to thank uh, the Brick House Gym for letting us compete there with especially the new expansion that uh, has taken place. Um, it allowed the competitors to really have a lot of room to warm up and that was great. And uh, everything that they did, the setup, the music, uh, the announcers, uh, it was great. So. Uh, once again, good job Brickhouse for hosting a great meet. And lastly, but not least, I'd like to thank uh, Coach Mark. I uh, really appreciate uh, the help that he provided me throughout the day. Although I've competed several times and each time I get less and less nervous, um, he just adds a layer of calmness to the day, um, makes sure that everything is taken care of. And I thought that we were really able to squeeze out uh, every last kilo on the day. Okay, on to the competition. So let's start with some lessons learned. The first lesson I learned was my day of eating. So first competition, you don't know how much really you should be eating throughout the day. Sometimes you pack too much, sometimes you pack too little. I think I've gotten it down pretty close to something that's repeatable. So for this competition, I did buy maybe a little bit too much, but better to have more than not enough. So I've eaten the same thing over and over again with, uh, with no negative effects. So what I like to bring on the day of the competition is uh, water with salt and something to flavor it, uh, a bag of chips that I like to eat immediately post weigh-in for the salt as well, uh, three bananas, three or four bananas, uh, two granola bars, a monster energy drink, uh, probably the orange one. Three Gatorades and three peanut butter and jam sandwiches with white bread. Those and maybe a couple of other things will likely be what I'll bring to the competition over and over again. All right, so let's talk about, you know, mind frame heading into the competition. So squats were feeling really good and squats usually feel pretty good leading up to any competition. I feel that whatever I throw at it, whether it be volume, intensity, whatever, uh, it seems to react well. So I'm very fortunate that way. So at my previous competition in June at the Provincials, I was able to squat uh, 200 kilos, which was at the time a personal best. Squats went really well on this day. I opened up with the same opener from uh, provincials which was 185 that moved incredibly well uh, next came uh, my second which was at 195 moved really well as well I stepped off the platform and uh, just looked at mark and mark was like 205 I was like yeah let's do it so we put 205 which is a, a five kilo uh, personal best and was able to sink it really good and was able to step back up with it and it certainly wasn't the prettiest um, lift, but uh, that doesn't matter. It's not how it looks, it's if you can actually lift it. And I was really happy with that five kilo uh, PR.
the way I usually like to judge a lift on the day is I kind of ask myself if I could have put on another two and a half kilos or five kilos, what have you. And in this case, I don't really think I could have the way that the bar was leaning and the difficulty of the lift. I think 205 was the right call and was what I was able to do on the day. So that is check a good lift. Uh, okay, bench. I'm so frustrated with bench right now. I'm so tired of benching the same amount. I've benched the same amount three times in a row. I guess I hated it so much that I decided to just do five kilos less this time. Like, it's unreal. I've done 125 for the last three competitions. I have seemingly thrown the book at it. I've done tons of volume. I've done high intensity. I thought I've done some pretty good accessories, but it just seems to be stuck at 125. This competition, I actually took 120 and it moved okay. Could I have put another two and a half kilos on it? I, I doubt it, but it's just frustrating. I, I gotta figure out something. Let's go, 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 go! Come on, just up. Come on, come on, come on. And then there's the deadlift. My last competition, the biggest goal was to try to hit a 500 pound uh, deadlift, which is 225 kilos. Actually, 225 kilos is 496 pounds. And so uh, I told my coach at the last competition, don't tell me how much you're putting on the bar. So we hit an opener and then we hit a second attempt uh, that moved well. Again, I didn't know how much it was. And then on my third attempt, I pulled to about mid thigh and had to drop it. And I turned to Mark and thought, oh, that was probably the 500 pound deadlift, but indeed it wasn't. That was the second, uh, second attempt, so I was really happy. And at the same time disappointed, I wasn't able to finish 507. For this competition, I really wanted to get that 507 pound uh, deadlift, which is 230 kilos. And well, just watch. Go, Dad! Come on, Dad! So close. I was so close. So close, but is what it is. So had I completed that third deadlift, I would have had a five kilo PR on my deadlift. I would have had a minus five on my bench and a plus five on my deadlift which would have given me a total of 555, which would have been a five kilo total PR on the day. But since I missed the third deadlift, I was able to get 540 on the day. All right, so you finish up the day and you ask yourself, you know, was this a good competition? Could I have done things differently and what have you? And yes, it's very apparent that I could have uh, peaked a little bit better for this competition. Maybe would have been able to squeeze out a couple more kilos and that would have been uh, very helpful towards my total. Uh, however, I think under the circumstances I was able to uh, get everything out uh, the day of, which I think was is, is important, except for the third deadlift, but what are you gonna do? 
So now you kind of take a step back and you look at what's next. Uh, there is a competition that will take place in June. Uh, it will be the Manitoba Provincials, which I've qualified for. And so that's about 18, 19 weeks out. And uh, I guess that's, that's the next meet you shoot for. That's the target. So thanks everyone for watching this uh, video throughout. I really appreciate it. And from now until June, I'll be posting more videos about uh, my lifting. Of course, now I have to pick uh, a new program, which is always uh, fun. But um, again, really appreciate everybody making it their way all the way to the end. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, let's go.